Irene. Irene. She was one of three rulers to hold sole power in the 1100 years of Byzant Byzantines. It seems like a See, this is the picture that I think is on my necklace. Mm -hmm. But I can't tell. What do you think? I don't have my glasses on. Hey, I wonder if YouTube can tell. Should I get a close-up of it? <laughs> Crete. Post-Byzantine Crete, probably. Chania. They call it Candia, but it's Chania. Oh, now Iraklium. Okay, so now we know. <coughs> Thessaloniki. Hmm. It's before this pre Ottoman. Mm -hmm. Very cool. This is more the Syrian Byzantine, right, that you're talking about? Byzantine, Byzantine yeah, from Syria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but based on those other mosaics, they were in Greek writing, so chances are, again, if it's Byzantine, that means that these were Greek-influenced. Very cool, though. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't see these last time. They do, What's that? Oh, I see now. I didn't see the other two animals. I just saw the horse initially, but there's three animals on it. Oh, there's the ostrich up there on top. Mm -hmm. The glasswork is really cool. Mm -hmm. They made their glass like almost opalescent. But see, like, look at how that one has like, it looks like all the paint chipped off where the sparkly mm -hmm. stuff is. Like, mm -hmm. imagine like that being all covered in it. Like, how pretty that would be. Mm -hmm. And that flask too. And this too. one is like that too. Mm -hmm. It's like very elegant. Very neat. They had cool jewelry, didn't they? Mm hmm I like that one. Gold glass and silver glass beads. Costume jewelry. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Camila. Oh, it's a giraffe. No, that's uh, Camila Pardalos. For a camel? For a giraffe. Camila Pardalos. That's the camel there. And there's a, what's that, a leopard or a, a lion. Oh, it is a leopard. To burn incense, yeah. Whoa. From Egypt, Look probably. Look how fine they got that comb. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's so tiny. How did they do that? They were experts. Yeah. 
Those glass beads are cool, too. Campus. I wonder if that was always there, if that's something that the museum uses. No, that's what the museum uses. Because the Byzantine Empire, the Coptic Egypt, went all the way to Palestine. That's where the Greeks were, well, the Byzantines, which were mostly Greek-influenced. You know, they were part of the Eastern Roman Empire. But the fact of the matter is that it was greatly influenced Greek. Is that what you do on your days off? What's that? <laughs> you just look at Eastern European history. <laughs> Bless you. Well, actually, this is this is part of Asia and Africa history. I mean, because once you get to Egypt, Egypt is Africa. Right. You know, but Syria is. Here, I'll show you right here on the map. Oh, these are nice, cool coins, right? Solidus. Mm -hmm. Coin of Theodosius. That's even people's last names these days. Diocletian. Okay, so here's Asia. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Asia. Syria's in Asia. Egypt is Africa. So here's where the Roman and Byzantine, Roman and Byzantine Empire, and as we know that Alexandria and Cleopatra, this was, this mm -hmm. was, uh, oh, right here, found in 330, the new Rome, Constantinople. Strategic Peninsula, the link Eastern and West Asia and Europe. Constantine the Great. His mother was a many. Constantine and Helen. No, that's why our church is. Yeah, yeah, Sophia was right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's still there. Mm -hmm. It's a mosque. Mm -hmm. The term Byzantium comes from the former Greek fishing colony on the site. Mm -hmm. It has been applied to modern historians to Eastern Christian Empire ruled by a succession of dynasties. How come they are using Eastern Christian instead of Orthodox? Because it's Eastern, they were at the time they were one church. Oh, that's right. At this time, it was one church. It was Rome, but most of the power was consolidated in uh, Byzantium. Mm -hmm. So they have all three feature. names. Mm -hmm. So it was called Byzantium, Constantinople, and Istanbul today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Michelle. It's a pretty cool book. I think I think we have this book somewhere. I actually think we might. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. The fish. And I think there's another animal too. Or no, that's the water. Seascapes. Three hundred AD. Hmm. So three hundred years after the death. Roman, probably third century. By this time, there really wasn't any Greece because Greece was part of the Roman Empire. These are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could see they, they, they've picked it up a notch. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. third century is... Oh, yeah. It's like you see society, you know. Play. See? Because they got the mask. Mm -hmm. The muse. Mm-hmm. Melpomini. Perhaps a personification. Oh, 
so that means when you, wait, I'm so confused. So you know the word like personified, that's mm -hmm. what you do when you like give an inanimate object people like qualities, like how do, how does that relate to Persephone and the mm -hmm. story and personification? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, my mind's blown. You should have went to Greek school study. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll, you'll, you'll probably start seeing some evil eye symbols and stuff coming mm -hmm. up pretty oh, soon I should have worn mine today. I didn't know there was this giant Greek section. Bronze and gold, gold and glass. Roman, probably from Italy, see? So they're specific on where they come from. If it comes from the Coptics, from Egypt, from where it's coming from, from Constantinople, this one says it's probably from Italy. The bracelets, I'm talking about mm -hmm. these little bottles. See, Roman Syria. Last, turn that thing off. Here, go ahead. I don't know how to turn it off, turn it off. Finger ring with. I can't. Do you have it in like another pocket? Is it like an inside pocket? There, there's many. Uh, there are many. <laughs> Alright, we still haven't made it around yet. How many floors have we still been? Oh. I don't know if this was here when your mother and I came here a couple months ago. <laughs> That's a birthday cake. It is an almond cake. What? It's an almond cake. It's a fish. Huh? <laughs> I said fish, but... I said fish. It's an almond cake. But it's almond. Yeah. Because it looks like a fish. You know, they must have had really cool streets because all these mosaics are pavement. These are pavement mosaics, which means that that their streets, this is what their streets were like. They had mosaics on their streets, yeah, on the pavement. Yeah, that's really cool. And they've lasted for all this time. That is so beautiful. I wonder what they did to do that. Uh-huh. they restored them? It doesn't say restored. No, it doesn't. You could see the whole side of it. Yeah, they put it on kind. Oh, yeah, because it's put on. It is put on some type of a stone. I don't think that's concrete. Ancient version of concrete. I don't. I don't know. Well, maybe they. I don't know. Unless only the black part was the road, and they did that to preserve it or something. But I have like no you said, idea. doesn't say anything about how they were preserved. No, that's that's stone. That's not concrete. And then they put the mosaic right on top of it. Hmm. That's Egyptian. For sure. Huh? 
Huh? Do you see any resemblance? No. <laughs> I know, and then they have an LED in the back. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool. Barbarian. <laughs> 